Welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Hill Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Wow, what an amazing weekend many of us had. And uh, we celebrated the 3E this last weekend. And if you were a part of us, oh, we evoked, we embraced, and I believe we evolved. And for those of you who missed it, perhaps next year, we're already planning our ninth annual 3E event because nine is the number. So for those of you who do not know me, my name is Lisa Bubari. I am your expert, clinical hypnotherapist, stress management consultant, and the founder of Heal Within, uh, the Healing Center, and also Heal Within International, which is um, the nonprofit that I founded, plus the 3E event, which is an annual event empowering women and just few days ago, we had our two-day getaway retreat in Palm Desert, and it was magnificent. I received so many, so many compliments, so many beautiful messages that in all the years that I had done my 3E event, the seven, uh, the seven one prior to this, believe it or not, they enjoyed it but no one got as impacted and received so much and walked away with as much in the last two days and this year than ever before. So I guess a two day retreat is the place to be. Um, so how are you doing? How is everything going on in your life? Today, I wanna to talk about two things. It's about women, it's about empowering women, and it is, and at the end, I'm gonna give you a tool and technique for everybody to release things that you have been holding on to. So, number one, we're gonna talk about the powerful female immigrants. Why am I talking about this? Because this is a book that I am very proud of. Um, 24 women, who wrote a chapter. They have a chapter in this book. It's not a small book, it's a, it, it's a thick one. My chapter in itself from page 54 to 64, it's approximately nine pages and one page uh, with the bio. But, oh my God, the amazing stories of each woman that has it. And then you come to know the power of every single person which you probably have a story within you and believe it or not i'm going to be starting uh where is my okay i don't have it here but we're doing uh i will post it here that this prompted me with my publisher michael uh d butler from um who was our title sponsor we launched something at the 3e event and it's called the power of she it's going to be the story of 33 armenian women who want to be a part of a book that i am spearheading and if you want to be in a book have a chapter talk about your story of overcoming challenges to be where you are and how you are making a difference in the world today or what your story is and what you would like to share it can be expertise your expertise it can be a technical expertise you can be a part of your life it can be something that you are speaking on you have a cause whatever it is if you want to be a part of this book please dm me it is called the power of she um I don't know why I don't have it here with me. I would love to show you the cover, but what we will do is definitely post it 
so you can see the picture and I will post it in the comments. That's number one. Number two is what is happening around the world and what is happening and if you have not seen anything in the news in the regular channels cnn nbc abc fox is the dilemma that so many of us have because the biggest coverage in the world is not happening and which is what happened in iran what happened and what is happening globally and when we are talking about uh, globally what is happening in Middle East in Iran it is about this a beautiful essence of uh, women in the country around the world are coming and standing and actually we want to say this young girl Amini who died uh, she was beaten she was hospitalized because of our her beatings and then she went into coma for a few days and then she died approximately two three weeks ago and that in itself has sparked something for all the women in Iran to stand up and not only in Iran but every woman in that country and the men who are supporting them have come out they are marching standing by one another they took all their scarves out their hijabs out everyone is standing up and showing up in solidarity it's not a fight going on but it is it's like a, a revolution of that it's starting of saying we have a right I matter you matter she mattered and that's exactly what my talk was at my 3e event but I want you to know there's thousands out in Germany in England in France Toronto uh, everywhere in Canada um, in New York Los Angeles we had over 8,000 people just last weekend drive it's free Iran it's uh, about standing up for the rights there are so many youngsters that have felt as if suffocating in that country because of the rights was taken away it's as if you have no right to exist as a female as a male even the male so many have been tortured and killed at the university even in America so when this kind of a thing is happening globally it's bigger than me too what does it say it says see me hear me here I am so it's an atrocity of what's happened in Iran against the women and suppressing for so many years but I guess it takes one shall we say mass uh, Amini's death was a sacrifice which has started this revolution bless her soul because it became the seed you know they when we think of a plant and the beautiful flowers that are out and it's green and it's a blossoming when we look at the soil is very dark it's wet and it's it's moist but deep inside the seed is planted in the darkest which is just like a lotus so but that's the seed that it's going to blossom 
to be what this is. And now the seed is blossoming. Everyone is standing up and saying, we have a right. Hear me, I matter. See me, I matter. And all that is exactly what the message of 3E is. Because just like the practice that I am doing, if you agree, it to heal within means not the surface, but sometimes we have to uh, nurture this beautiful plant in order for the healing to begin. Because even when we think a plant is dead, if you tend to it with tenderness and you give it its nutrition and put it in the right pot with the right lighting, with the right water, everything will grow again. It will come to life. And I believe it's the same with life, with being real. Fahad, hello, my dear. How are you? Oh my God, I haven't talked to you in such a long time. I don't know. Uh, I, I was just wondering if this same thing is happening in Pakistan. Is this uh, being covered in Pakistan? And because we have the same, almost the same thing happening, the suppression, and they are standing up. Because this is happening in globally, I was wondering if it is also happening for the women uh, standing up in solidarity in Pakistan, in India, and everywhere else. So thank you for being here. Every one of us has the right to be here. You know, they say America is the land of the free, but even here, we realize that we can be anything we want. As one of my speakers at the 3E event said, this is the land of opportunity. Truly, everyone has the opportunity. I don't know about the freedom to speak and do so, but we have the right. We have the opportunity to be who we want to be we have the right to stand, to speak, and do everything. And this is what we are talking about. And that's why so many of us, thousands of us, millions of us, are wondering where is the coverage for that in this country? Because this is bigger than me too. So we just want to say, we too. So to heal, if you could just use this technique, it's very simple. No matter where you are, all you have to do is sit back in your chair. Mm. And for just a few moments, take a nice deep breath. Close your eyes. And for just a moment, I want you to think back to an hour ago, a day ago, a month ago. If you have any hardships, any sadness, if there was any pain, discomfort, if there is any trauma, sadness, if you are angry about something or have built up resentment that you had not thought of, if you have suppressed any of that anger and resentment, um, if you have anything that you are ashamed of or feel guilty of or have been guiltied, just for a moment close your eyes and let all that pour pour into your conscious mind and bring it to surface anything from an hour ago a day ago a month ago a year ago ten years ago 
maybe five years ago, maybe three years ago, or maybe when you were five years old, maybe when you were 10 years old. Things you saw, things you heard, things you said, either knowingly or unknowingly, that you felt it or you were told. All that somewhere, somehow has pained you or you still feel the pain and you held on to it. I want you to just like speed of light, just let it all come and think about it. And then from here, from the top of your head, drop it as if you can see it, you can hear it. And right before you speak it, you allow it to sink in and let it all come down from your shoulders into your arms, from your arms into your hand, from your hand into the palm of your hand. Just open your hand, the palm of your hand, face up, and just let it all drip, all flow all come into the palm of your hand just let it all drip let it all come into the palm of your hand and let your hand become real heavy i want you to take a hold of all that i want you to put it all in the palm of your hand and feel the weight Feel your arm, feel your hand get heavy. And the more you think of it, the more you feel, the more you let go and drop it in the palm of your hand, your hand will feel much heavier than your mind, your head. Every thought, every idea, every concept, every image, every thought, every word. And if it is just a feeling, let the feeling drop into the palm of your hand. If it is thoughts, words that you heard that were spoken to you, that were harsh, or you said something, let it all come. No judgment, just release. Release and let it go and bring it into the palm of your hand. Hmm. And the moment you have it all, you pour it all just for now as much as you can. Feel that tingling sensation at the palm of your hand. Even I, after doing so much, I can still feel more feeling guilty, being told that I'm wrong, or I felt not enough, felt my mistakes. I'm just dropping it in here. You can just do that. And when you believe you've had emptied most of it, just for today, I want you to lovingly close it. Close the palm of your hand. Close the palm of your hand. And very gently, lovingly, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Squeeze, 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 as if juicing it, as if juicing it all. And then on the count of three, we're going to release the whole thing. One, two, three. Let it all go. Let it all go. And shake off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off and let it all drop. It releases, literally it drains so much that you have suppressed, that you have held on to without realizing everything that you thought of, you held on to, either knowingly or unknowingly, either consciously or subconsciously, that had weighed you down or has been weighing you down that you didn't know you can just release as a matter of fact this evening or tomorrow morning when you take a shower just close your eyes do the same thing again and shake it off you can even do it with both hands and shake it off but the beauty is when from the left hand you bring in 
you receive abundance you receive joy you receive and as you receive and you give and you nurture it's the right hand this do doer that releases it and lets it go i want you to feel that you are in total control and no matter what it is that you held on to today just for today you can just shake it off and if you practice this every day at least once a day it didn't take even three minutes remember the three it took you it can take you only three minutes to do this in and it can be just fast as this you think it you pour it in here you squeeze it all out you let that go and you feel lighter and when you take a shower to stand under the shower and as the water is coming down you say to yourself from this day forward every day in every way I release and let go I am clear I am calm I am connected I am cleansing I am powerful I am strong I am worthy I am light I am love I am loving I am kind I am deserving I am worthy I am I am I am I matter it's a simple affirmation it's a simple suggestion and it is so wonderful to do something when you do it physically emotionally and with the power of suggestion to you with the affirmation to release and let go you no longer need to hold on to things that are not a necessity and have already done its course it's time to release it's time to let go it's time to heal within so a lot of people think that hypnosis or hypnotherapy is like a relaxation but it is more than a relaxation because we're not working with your frontal lobe and your cognitive but we tap into your subconscious mind where the blueprint and the programming is but today you just learned one small easy technique to do it on your own in the comfort of your house your office your car no matter where you are you take three minutes you release you let go you shake it off and guess what you can go on into your day and have a light have a bright and have a lovely happy day my name is Lisa Bubari and by trade as a clinical hypnotherapist I want to say transformation begins when you are ready to heal within until next week I bid you goodbye and if you want to be a part of the the she power DM me message me we're gonna have 33 powerful women as part of this new book with Lisa and it's going to come out in January. Goodbye and may the universal light surround you. God bless. Bye bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.